uh, Maurice Hibbard with the Grandpa Mo Thought and Wow uh, on 3 19 uh, I'm going to talk about sex education as I understood it as a kid. It didn't come from the family or the schools, but what we picked up as kids along the way. I remember my first exposure to sex education was when I was about five and some of the kids were playing the game, you show me yours and I'll show you mine. And I'm not sure I knew the difference. Played some games called bull and cow and bull and uh, some other games called family where without some of our clothes we were playing like we were husband and wife. I don't know where young kids like that learned even that concept of it, but that's part of my sex education. Uh, the language that particular young men used was extremely vulgar. Uh, I guess they, today we refer to it as locker room talk. Uh, I was exposed to it as I took a, had a class in F, FA and had a helper and had to take her to the ball. And so I had some exposure and yet did not understand it completely. When I was about 14, uh, we had a, a church youth group met at the church community building and had activities and kids came from all over the area. Some of them walked for miles to be there. And on this particular warm evening, uh, one young man was bragging that he, he had reached his manhood and he could prove it. And so everyone gathered the men, the, the boys, gathered in the outhouse and struck matches and used cigarette lighters to illuminate the, the toilet and while this man, a uh, young man, performed an act to prove that he was a real man. Myself, I became uh, sick in my stomach and very upset by what I had witnessed. I think that about that same time I was doing a Bible study with a couple of young men and uh, we were studying an Old Testament story about a man named Oman, Om, Oman, Onen, uh, and he uh, let his seed fall on the ground rather than to have sex with a woman. And God was so angry, he struck him dead because he had obeyed, disobeyed God and a reference to masturbation. Uh, I was very confused about sex education and it affected how I approached my understanding of my spiritual relationship.